Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial on JavaScript basics. We're going to look at object constructors. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 2. If you haven't, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Also, there'll be a link in the description to the source code from this tutorial. Okay, so what are object constructors? Sometimes we have an object type that can be used to create many objects of a particular one type. For example, when we've been creating string objects or string variables we've been actually using the string constructor it's a built-in constructor we've been just using that same for integer and the same for anything that we've been really using and a standard way to create object type is to use an object constructor function so we're going to show you some built-in ones first we're going to open up a text editor then open up the code from tutorial 2 Okay, so some built-in ones of var x equals new. To create a new constructor, you, you do new. And now we can just put the date. So this is a date object, which is the current time. You can do new array, do new string. And you can also pass in some data as well. So for the new string, you can do Pass in on hello, so that would say hello. So if we do it to put X here, it would say hello. But those are the built-in constructors. How about if we want to create our own? We can easily do that. We just do function. We'll be looking at functions more in depth in the next tutorial. But for object constructors, for custom object constructors, that is, you still need to use a function. So you do function, and the name of the constructor, we're going to put superhero. You to spell it correctly first. Then you put open bracket, and now you put any parameters that you want to be passed in. So I'm going to put name, location, and awesomeness. Now we just do this and that. Sorry about that. And now you just do and that as well. This dot name. We'll make that equal to name. So you do this dot location equal to location. There, oops, there, this dot awesomeness equal to awesomeness. So now we can just simply construct it. So if we do var x equals new superhero, and we pass in three parameters. For, for the first one, we're just going to pass in Batman. Then we're going to pass in Gotham City. The awesomeness is out of a 10, so we're going to put in a thousand because Batman is that awesome. And now to access it, we access it in the normal way for objects do x dot, and now we're just going to put location. So if I just open up this web page in a web browser, it prints out Gotham City using our own custom constructor. So we could have loads of variables that are of type superhero so that's pretty cool so you can have uh, superheroes you can have locations addresses whatnot instead of always repeating essentially this code is again and again you just need to use a constructor and also another great thing is perhaps some sort of calculation goes on in the constructor as well maybe if you were to put age in there and the age uh, perhaps you put the age in years and it converts it to seconds or something like that because you naturally wouldn't know how many seconds you've been born for uh, but perhaps you can put in I don't know age 20 and you'll work out the seconds that's pretty cool as well so that's it for object constructors in the next tutorial as we mentioned you'll be doing functions which is basically what we've done here but it's just going to be a bit more in depth of what functions are all the required links for the source code will be in the description if you have any questions feel free to message us and as usual thanks for watching